Hi, everyone, and welcome back to our final session of the Let's Go Live week. I am honored to introduce one of our sales advisors, Ida, who will, doing the, will be doing the presentation today. Uh, chances are you may have met Ida either at KBiz or over the phone as she has been part of our support team as well as our marketing team before joining the team of sales advisors. She's an expert when it comes to 2020 design, so we're really excited to have her walk us through some of the most free frequently ask questions when it comes to migrating or looking at 2020 Design Live. Ida, take it away. Thank you, Vanessa. So I'm Ida. Obviously, today we're going to be talking about 2020 Design Live. So we're going to begin with our first question that was submitted. And here we go. So number one is, can I use 2020 Live on any of my computers? So example, I have two desktops and I have one laptop that I work from. Can I take my license to any of these computers to work from there? So yes, you may. Uh, basically, you are able to install 2020 Design Live on however many computers you need. The opening of the software is where the answer will be dependent on what you've taken. So if you have, in fact, taken a subscription, then that one subscription is one user. If you would need multiple designers using the software at the same time, basically means that you would need multiple subscriptions. Otherwise, one subscription is for one user. Our next question, number two, is can I use or open my current projects in 2020 Design Live? So yes, if you did have a previous version of 2020 Design, you are able to open up from any of those older versions. So example, if you were on version 11 and you had files that you've created there, and now you've moved over to 2020 Design Live, you are able to open those files. However, you cannot go backwards. So all 2020 Design Live for version 12 files can be opened regardless of the little additional dot, dot, dot version of that version 12 can be opened, but you cannot open um, anything from version 12, which is Design Live as well, um, into a previous version, version 11. Hope that's clear. Our next question was, in fact, uh, can I use my current file-based local catalogs in 2020 Design Live? So um, some of you may know that we have basically brought over our 2020 Design Live, our newest release. And the whole purpose of it would be to have our cloud database for a manufacturer catalog. So some people are worried that they can no longer access previously uh, installed local file-based catalogs, which let me just note, it used to be called drag and drop. So that same process is still able to be done. So you are still able to have that zip file and install it in 2020 Design Live to be able to pull those file-based local catalogs in 2020 Design Live. Number three, um, maybe number four, what happens to my design if Internet service is interrupted while working? Well, we don't like to think that something's going to go wrong, but anything can happen with technology. So the actual best practice is to develop a habit where while you're working, you're always hitting that Save button. Um, in the Preferences, you also have the Auto Save option. So that can be set to however many minutes you prefer. And also, um, you can even use that Auto Save pop-up to have a reminder to go and click that diskette and save your work. And of course, making sure that you always have generated a backup file when you start your files. So if anything does go wrong, then you have access to your previously worked files. So our next question also is in regards to manufacturer catalogs. So everyone is worried which manufacturer catalogs are available on the cloud. We have included our URL, so this is the website page that you can get to, so you don't need to worry about writing it down. Um, it's easily accessible, and those that will be receiving the recording will have it as well there. So we are inputting every day as we go the additional manufacturer catalogs. We already have a large library, having just started out with our release of live in June, but there is more to come. So always keep an eye out for that because we are adding as we go. 
Now, the next few questions are in regards to migrating. So why should I migrate to 2020 Design Live is one of our most asked questions. In other words, if you do have a dongle, so physical key, well, obviously that would become an online into Design Live. Now, with this subscription-based platform, there will be no way to lose your key, get it broken or even stolen, which has happened. So there would also be no downtime waiting for a new arrival. So everything is submitted online. Simply log in, make a couple of changes, and you're back to business. The other advantages are also the configurable cloud content. So every manufacturer that's part of our cloud database will also include any catalog version numbers, any release notes pertaining to that manufacturer's catalog, and as well the searching has been made a lot user friendly, a lot easier, so no need to worry about how that manufacturer has set up their nomenclatures. You'll also be getting access to the Easy Render or new rendering engine, which we will be discussing a little bit uh, further into this webinar. And your pricing will be grandfathered as well. Our next question is, what is the process to upgrade? So again, here is our website where you can find the information. But basically, very simply, you will be shown this little form that you are ready to migrate, you would like further information. Very simply, you enter the little bit of detail that is here, and one of our agents, um, part of the migration team, will in fact be calling you back. And then when you are on the website, you will also see that there are features and videos in relation to migrating to the Design Live. Our next question is the migration to 2020 Design Live mandatory. No, it is not. Of course, you are not obliged to, up to, you, to migrate excuse me, to the Design Live. However, um, being stuck with your dongle, the actual key, you would be up to date maybe if your support is paid up with uh, version 12, but you would not have access to any of the Design Live features or benefits that actually make our Design Live our best version yet. Our next question is, my company has multiple licenses. Can I switch only one of my licenses to Design Live? Well, the answer is no, you cannot. The only option is to migrate or upgrade all of your keys, all of the licenses, or none at all. All of this information can be found on our FAQ page. Just keep in mind that if you had windows to change, you wouldn't want to change only one window in your house. You would want to do all of them at once. Now the next question is, what is the actual cost to migrate to 2020 Design Live? Well, the great news is, if you currently have an active maintenance and support, then you are able to migrate at no extra cost. So for now, this is a limited time offer, so to keep that in mind as well. Our next question is, how much will the price increase next year? The renewal increases are going to be treated the same way as maintenance and support has been in the past. It will always be gradual and reasonable increases. So there's no need to worry about a big jump in prices because everything will be gradual and reasonable, same as it has always been for maintenance and support. Any additional questions that you might have, you may want to also go visit our 2020 Spaces Design Live FAQ pages. Next, we're going to be reviewing a little bit of information regarding our 2020 Design Live with Easy Render. So this is the new rendering engine that we've put into our Design Live. Our first question is when or will we have the other rendering modes available in Easy Render? So what we have done is we have launched in 12.1, a preliminary version of Easy Render, which is currently in beta mode. What it's doing is it's actually got the automatic lighting. It does have realistic materials that produce photo-like outputs. And you do have high-quality rendering in a fraction of the time. Our next question is, when will HQ image basically the high quality image, quality equal or exceeds that of Easy Render. So what we've done is we are continuing 
the development and integration of the Easy Render with 2020 Design. For instance, the drawing layout will also be able to generate renderings using the Easy Render. We are also focusing on adjusting the lighting and simplifying the controls. So some additional Easy Render controls that are going to be coming in are in fact brightness, contrast, shadows and highlights, colors, temperature, saturation, and you're going to have different filters as well. So all this is in fact coming soon. So we do need to keep our eyes open and stay tuned to see when this can be implemented in our newer release. That is the end of our questions and answers. I'd like to thank everyone for attending today.